Hello there guys and welcome to your 16 C++ tutorial. In today's tutorial will continue functions, we'll continue with functions. So let's go ahead and go ahead and open the previous CPP file. If you don't have it, create a new project, pause the video and then we you can resume the video. Alright, so let's go ahead and type, and uh, type the code and we'll go over it at the end. So first we're going to create a new function prototype called user input. And we'll have a double ARR. It is an array. Next, we'll type double, uh, double, sorry, find largest. Then what we'll do is, in here we'll have two parameters, double largest and double ARR. All right. So, so what this will do is basically we'll we'll get uh, we'll have an array containing of 10, 10 elements, and then we'll use the second function to find the largest element in the array and, we, and we're going to ask the user to enter the elements on the array in, in I mean consistent in the array so alright let's go inside our main and we want to declare a constant integer called size and I'll make it 10 because well you can make it as much as you want but I, I want to make the size of the array, the array 10 and then I'll declare a double array and inside here I'll put size which is 10 then we'll declare another double variable called largest and here is where we're going to store our answer to find the largest number next what we want to do inside our main is call the user input to get the user inputs and uh, user input and we're going to put the parameter arr which we declared up here next we'll type the cout statement and we'll say the largest number you entered was and I'll put an equal sign but you can put any message you want and we'll call our second function here called find largest and don't forget to put the parameters so it's going to be largest and arr which and I'm going to put a hand line which we declared up here okay now let's go and type the body of the user input function we're going to type void user input and we're going to put double arr and inside here i'll just type a message i'm going to say enter 10 numbers to let the user know that he can only enter 10 numbers and i'll put an end line just to make a little bit look a little bit neater and line okay then we'll have a for loop and so we'll type INTI equals 0 I has to be less than 10 since we know the size well you can make it any size you want to but if you if you made the size here 10 then you have to make it 10 or less so but you can most certainly put any size you want to so alright then we're gonna increment it by 1 alright so I'm not going to type any messages, I'm just going to get the input and store it inside the array. So we'll type C in and ARR and I. So we'll start storing it, start storing the user's input from 0 to 9, which is 10 elements. Alright, next, let's go to our second function called double find largest. Parameter is double largest and double array. Alright, here we'll just go ahead and copy the for loop we had up here copy that and let's paste it in here so inside the body of the for loop we'll, we'll have a if statement to help us find the largest number so we'll type arr sub i is greater than arr sub i plus one and all this means is if the, gr if the first element in the array is greater than the second element in the array it also, and we're going to put end a, the first element the array. If that is true, and the first element in the array is greater than the largest, then what we want to do is we're going to set the largest here, largest to be equal to the first element. But if that is not true, we're going to type an else statement just to help us with that. We're going to else if we're going to type the exact same thing as up there it's uh, but instead of greater it has to be less so if the second element is greater than the first element 
n, it also has to be greater than. The second element must also be greater than the largest number. The largest. And we'll, we'll do the same thing. It's, we'll just set the largest equal instead of the first to the second. We're going to set it to i plus 1. All right. So this will find the greater number, then we must return the answer. So we'll type return largest to return the answer back. All right, so let's go ahead and build this and see if everything's working properly. And then we'll go over the code. All right, so let's see down here. Okay, it was built. Let me run it. So let me enter 10 numbers, 5.6, 9.8, 11.2, 6.8. 7, 55.6, 99, 99.1, 0 0.7, sorry, 5, 4, so as we see here, we found the largest number, which was 99.7, so it does work, so next, all right, let's go over the code, uh, so let's go up here, we declare the two function prototypes, one has a return type of void, so we don't want to return anything, that is the user's input, next is a double, yeah, next has a double return type and it has two parameters the one the large uh, one double parameter called largest and another the array uh, so in the largest here we're going to store the answer and here we'll have the user's inputs inside our main we declare the constant integer which will be the size of our array which you can make anything you want to but for this story i made 10. here we declare our double array then the largest to store the answer then we call the user input uh, function which was a void return type and once the it sees this it will go down here and execute what's inside of it so it will basically display this message and ask the user to enter 10 numbers and then uh, it will store those numbers inside of our array so it will increment its time and store store the number in a uh, different different part of the array a different all right so next it will go down down here in the next line and display the, the largest number in your, uh, you enter was and then you will go and call the second function you will go down here you will go inside the for loop and do this 10 times and if the first element is greater than the second element and that is greater than the largest number then you will set that equal to the largest number and vice versa here is the same thing and just instead if the second element is greater than the first it will do the same thing and set the largest equal to that it will do this 10 times until it finds which number is the largest if, uh, until i should say until it compares the 10 elements in the array and you'll find which is largest then you will get out of the for loop it will return the largest number basically the answer up here and all you will see is the largest number was whatever the largest number was and the end line and then it will just terminate the program Okay, so I hope this was, I hope, the, I hope you like this tutorial guys, it was a little bit more complex than previous ones, and we'll keep going and making it a little bit more harder, a little harder on the next tutorial, and don't worry because I'm using uh, NetBeans, it's basically the same thing as Visual Studio, if you guys think there's any difference, it's basically the same thing, so, anyways, thank you for watching my tutorial, and please subscribe and check out all my tutorials, thank you guys, and please, please subscribe, thanks again, oh, and, if you need a, a tutorial about anything particular, you know what to do, leave a comment or send me a message. Please subscribe and thank you.